Welcome. Welcome, doctors and my fellow colleagues, and thank you for uh, coming to our presentation, which will be about triple negative breast cancer and a new method of recurrence prediction. will be presented by me, Safa Salah, and uh, my colleague, Fatma Zahra al Majbri, with supervision of Dr. Bashir Larabi. The objective we intend to discuss today include definition of triple negative breast cancer, its epidemiology and prognosis, clinical feature, investigation and treatment option of breast cancer, understanding of PA1 test, its classification results and its importance. Triple negative breast cancer, it refers to the immunophenotype of the breast cancer that immunologically negative to estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, and HER2 gene. Triple negative breast cancer is one of uh, four types of breast cancer and molecular classification, which is include luminal A and luminal B. Luminal, luminal A and luminal B and triple negative breast cancer, uh, which are two positive. Luminal A and luminal B, which account the majority of cases, they are both negative, uh, positive for estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor, but the difference is uh, luminal A negative for HER2 gene, luminal B positive for the gene. Triple negative breast cancer or basal cell-like, uh, negative for hormonal receptor and negative for HER2 gene. Uh, HER2 positive, as the name suggests, is only positive for HER2 gene. Uh, triple negative breast cancer, it's most aggressive type of breast cancer due to high, uh, high rate of growth and high recurrence, uh, high recurrence rate. 15% of all type of breast cancer, 39 uh, of triple negative breast cancer, uh, they are premenopausal women, uh, three to two times more in African women, 70% of uh, triple negative breast cancer uh, cases associated with BRCA1 gene mutation, 20 to 30 of triple negative breast cancer, uh, cancer patients achieve complete response after a new adjuvant uh, chemotherapy. 70% of metastatic triple negative breast cancer will not survive more than five years post-diagnosis. Clinical feature of uh, breast, uh, triple breast uh, cancer is resembled to the other forms of breast cancer, which is include uh, breast or nipple pain, breast swelling, breast lump, lump in axilla, nipple discharge or a distorted nipple, dimpling of the breast, and skin irritation. Diagnosis of breast uh, cancer in hospital done by, triple, uh, by breast triple assessment, which is include clinical assessment, history and examination, radiological ex uh, assessment, ultrasound and mammography, histopathological assessment, which done by fine needle aspiration, true cut biopsy, incisional biopsy, and excisional biopsy. A true cut biopsy is superior of all, of all biopsies. A treatment options for breast cancer, uh, treatment option for breast cancer in general include chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and surgery. However, triple negative breast cancer ha ha has a specificity uh, for uh, chemotherapy because there are uh, variant of genes involved in its pathogenesis. Twenty th uh, twenty-three of these genes are discovered and, are, uh, and they are associated with uh, pathways such as proliferation, DNA repair, cell survivor, metabolism, cell migration, angiogenesis, and adhesion. And two of these uh, genes, they are uh, involved in cell immunity. Chemotherapy types uh, target this pathway, DNA repair, uh, they, uh, they use PARP inhibitor and platinum agents, and uh, anti-androgenic receptor, angiogenesis, cell cyclin, and immuno-antibody -anti drugs. Now my, uh, I will leave you with my colleague Fatma Zahra al Majbir and we'll discuss the report. The report we have today discusses the uh, predictor of pathological complete response to a new adjuvant chemotherapy and stratifies triple negative uh, breast cancer patients with high risk of recurrence. 
Uh, it uses the BA100 test, which is a test that was developed to predict which patient will achieve pathological complete response and which will have residual disease. They use gene expression data from pretreatment biopsies of patients with uh, uh, all breast cancer subtypes, and they were combined into a 519 uh, patient cohort containing 177 uh, triple negative uh, breast cancer patients. Uh, two RNA classifiers were used of uh, 16 genes, and they were applied to the total cohort, classifying the patient into three uh, distinct classes or categories. This certification of patient may allow predicted residual disease classes to be assigned to an alternative uh, therapy. This is the method of RNA classification. Uh, they took the T uh, triple negative uh, breast cancer and classified it into two subgroups, the pathological complete response and residual disease, which was, which was further classified to residual disease with good prognosis and with worse prognosis according to the expression of the KI67 uh, protein, which is a nuclear protein uh, involved in cell proliferation and RNA ribosomal uh, transcription. Uh, and it shows uh, a uh, chemo resistant to uh, chemotherapy. These are the test results. It accurately, uh, it's correctly stratified 70% of a pathological complete response and 83% of residual disease patient in total population, 60% of pathological complete response and 85% of uh, residual disease in triple negative breast cancer. The overall accuracy was 80% in total cohort and 75% in triple negative breast cancer subset and uh, it is a significant result. Uh, these are the results of the 519 patient cohort, class one being the pathological complete response, class two, the residual disease with good prognosis, and class three with the worst prognosis. The BA100 model shows high negative predictive values for all subtypes of breast cancer. The importance of this test uh, is summarized in that the achieving of pathological complete response to neoadjuvant chemotherapy is a predictor for long-term outcomes. This allows for an early evaluation of the effectiveness of systemic therapy. Since the, uh, the pathological complete response is correlated with the prediction of five-year disease-free survival, the biomarker development in this setting can be utilized in both new adjuvant and adjuvant settings. Only about 20% of patients achieve pathological complete response, causing unnecessary morbidity for the other 80% uh, while using high toxicity treatment with limited benefit. Predicting which patient will have pathologic complete response and, and which will have residual disease provide physician uh, with an opportunity to alter and improve treatment planning uh, with aggressive or novel treatment while preventing overtreatment in population with expected uh, to achieve the pathologic complete response with standard care. This is not the first predictor that has been uh, used or proposed. However, uh, the older ones did not achieve the necessary level of positive or an, and negative predictive values for clinical utility. They either suffered from uh, small sample sizes, lacked validation data, or no, were not applicable to triple negative breast cancer. The BA100, if it was used to utilize, uh, if it was used to stratify patient prior to treatment, the ability to predict which will have uh, pathological complete response and which will have the residual disease uh, could be helpful in choosing the standard options and will allow physician and patients to pursue more aggressive or targeted therapies in the beginning of treatment rather than waiting for the new adjuvant chemotherapy results. What's important to take from this uh, presentation is that triple negative breast cancer is a problematic form of breast cancer due to aggressive growth rate, high recurrence rate and poor long-term survival. Not all triple negative breast cancer is the same. Uh, it has molecular and genetic variants, as we discussed before. Chemotherapy works for triple negative breast cancer, however, uh, and there are a number of uh, standard options. However, there isn't a single best target, uh, and, but it is an area of uh, active research, and many new agents and approaches are being discovered. Tests of prediction such as BA100 made it easier to stratify the risk of uh, recurrence and choosing the best line of treatment for each patient individually. These are our references. Thank you for your attention.